Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are looking at the NBA DraftKings and FanDuel picks for Wednesday, January the 11th. We have an eight-game slate tonight, starting at 7 o'clock. Let's go ahead and get started. As always, if you enjoy the videos, appreciate it. Hit the like button, subscribe. If you have not already, you can check out the links in the description. Uh, and let's get started. So, point guard plays today. I have a bunch of Q tags across the board, um, especially at like small forward. And shooting guard has a bunch as well. But the point guard picks, top end is John Moran. He's over 10K. He's going up against the Spurs, who they should be able to handle at home. You know, there's a, a chance it could get turned into a blowout if you're worried about that. But even with the Grizzlies just having getting healthier, uh, it's been Morant not having to do as much as he was doing earlier when um, they were missing Desmond Bain for a while and Jaron Jackson was missed some time. So now that they're all back and healthy, it's not something I'm looking to get to, especially what should be a blowout, although it is a great matchup. Um, for John Moran, just because how bad the Spurs play defensively. You have CJ McCollum, you know, probably not going to have Ingram again. He didn't practice on Tuesday, so even though the plan was to have him back on this five-game road trip, he might not play. Maybe he comes back for the last one of the last two games. So I still like CJ McCollum, even though it's not the easiest matchup going into Boston. Uh, Value-wise here, Jamal Murray is cheap at $6,900. Great game last game, and... Um, you know, he just had a really good shooting performance, shot 56% uh, from the floor, he continues his hot shooting from the last three games where he shot over 50% in each one and just got the minutes in that game and um, you know, just had the hot hand. He kept going to him. Uh, yeah, the Suns are just depleted with injuries. You know, they've they missed Paul, Payne, Aiton missed last game, Booker's out. So they're just super shorthanded, so it led to having... Dwayne Washington Jr. jumped into the starting lineup last game, and he's been seeing good minutes the previous couple of games. He can hit the three ball. Uh, he is a, a guy that can put the ball in the basket, and they'll, they'll need somebody to score like that. So at $4,600, even though they're going into Denver, still think he's a good value piece just because of all the lack of bodies on the Suns. At shooting guard, you know, pay up is nothing I'm looking at too much here. Maybe you can go to Giante Murray at $8,200. Zach Levine looks great if... Um, DeMar DeRozan gets ruled out today. Uh, however, there's another good value piece that I'm looking at. He's similarly priced to Washington, same exact price, and that's Josh Richardson. He's playing well recently, and he's getting the minutes because Vassell is out and Kelvin Johnson is questionable currently. He's missed the last couple of games. Uh, but even with even just not having Vassell there, it just helps Richardson get more minutes off the bench and have a chance to close. Probably will see mid to high 20s in minutes. He's super affordable at this price tag, and... No, he will give you assists and rebounds. He's not just a guy that's going to score. So the fact that he can do a little bit of everything, give you some defensive stats, makes sense. Small forward, you have Tatum and Brown as your top two guys. They look great going up against the Pelicans. Value-wise, you have Kuzma and Zach Levine at $8,000. Levine has been shooting really well recently, hitting a lot of threes um, and, taking, and being more aggressive with taking 20-plus shots and two straight and almost... The third three straight against Philly was 19. The fact that DeRozan is questionable. If he misses, you're going to be looking to get to Levine. Even if DeRozan plays, you could still consider Levine, just how good he's been. Um, and small forward at that price range, you just have Kuzma, who it'll be dependent on Porzingis news if you wanted to get to him. Barrett could play, but he's missed some time, so I don't want to get to him. Could be rusty. And then Kellen Johnson is you know, dealing with some injuries, with one injury. We'll see if he plays today. Value-wise, you have Michael Porter Jr., who's been kind of disappointing this year. He just kind of gives you like 20 to 30 and doesn't do much else. So he doesn't give you much upside for tournaments. I like Kevin Herter a bit at 59, especially in what should be a shootout against Houston. And then going for value, it's like, could look to Sadiq Bay or somebody like that, just with some of the injuries that they're dealing with. Uh, he got 34 minutes last game. He's cheap. So we'll see if, I believe Bogdanovich is questionable. If he misses, then you're going to be looking to possibly Sadiq Bay again. Over at power forward, you have Giannis as your payup coming off of a disappointing game last time out against the Knicks. Bounce back spot against the Hawks if you wanted to go there. You could get John Collins into foul trouble. Uh, speaking of Collins, he's played pretty well recently. Tough game last game, just 30 fantasy points just because he only got 31 minutes and was a little bit in foul trouble, but also just didn't give you, um, just missed out on double-double and didn't have any assists. Further down for value, you have Harrison Barnes been good for the, the Kings recently, scoring well and being a little bit more aggressive, so definitely don't mind him. Uh, and then other guys in the 4K range you could look to would be 
you know, Horford potentially, but Rui, especially if Porzingis misses, you'll probably be in the starting lineup and seeing over 30 minutes. So Porzingis is out. You're looking at him. Right now, we don't know that status. I'm going Keegan Murray. He's also been really good recently and shooting really well. For his last uh, 10 days, shooting almost 60% from the three-point line, uh, seeing good, decent minutes, you know, high 20s, mid to high 20s in close games. Can get into the 30s as well. And he's been pretty consistent because he's hitting a lot of his shots. But if Porzingis is out, I'll probably end up getting up to Ruby Hachimura. And then last but not least at center, we got a lot of values here, a lot of guys in the 4K range. So pretty easy to pay up for Jokic today if you wanted to. He's 11 6. Uh, he's absolutely destroyed the Suns the first time out and potentially not having Aiton today, you know, going up against like Biombo or whoever else they throw out there. Jokic should be able to dominate, wouldn't be any, wouldn't expect anything other than like a a monster game out of Jokic tonight, probably easily over 50, probably most likely over 60, and we know he can give you 70 plus as well. So that's what I got on DraftKings today. Let's uh, jump to FanDuel. All right, over on FanDuel, point guard plays. You have a couple guys north of 9,000. They look fine, but 8K is also strong with Jaron Fox in a great matchup. You have CJ there at $8,800. Cheaper, you have DeJounte Murray at 82, 7K range. You have Holiday, Jalen Green. They look decent. And then going further down for value, uh, I'm sure some of these guys will pop up throughout the day once we get some of these injury reports. Probably a good position that you can pay up a little bit. Right now, I like Fox just with how good of a matchup it is against Houston. Like the price tag. Shooting guard, it's a spot where you have Levine at 85, who I like if there is no DeRozan. Um... Going further down in the below 7K and 6K, Mikel Bridges looks decent. Uh, you have Washington is at 57. He still looks good, just with them missing probably so many pieces today. We'll see if um, Aiton has a chance to play. And then you have Damian Lee at 45, who had a good game last night. Right now, I'm sticking with Washington. We'll see uh, if he stays in the starting lineup today. Uh, if not, he can pivot off to like maybe going to his teammate off the bench and Lee. Um, we're going further down. Small forward. Giannis looks fine. He looks pretty good at 11-6. You can go to Jokic if you wanted to instead at center. So probably a spot where you're looking to see who you want to pay up for. Uh, Kuzma is only 74. That price tag looks pretty good. And then you're looking at 5 and 6K range options. You have Herter. Um, Josh Richardson at 57. Murray's a little bit more pricey at 5K. Looks decent. Right now I'm putting Kuzma in because... You know, we'll see if Porzingis plays. He's not typically a guy that will play through a lot of stuff. So uh, the fact that he has a Q tag with a rib injury, um, you know, if he sits out, you're definitely going to be looking at Kuzma at that price tag. Over at Power Forward, some values you could look to would be Harrison Barnes, just the way that he's been playing recently. Jabari Smith looks decent in a great matchup. Um, however, with the Suns missing a lot of pieces, they started Sarich last night at the 4. Um or maybe start at center. But he got the start last night, and he played well. So even on DraftKings, he's 35. You can look to him. If Aiton gets ruled out, or even if Aiton is in, he could still be a piece that will get good minutes, maybe starting alongside Aiton um, against Denver, or at least coming off the bench. But good game last night, so I expect him to get the minutes tonight. And then at center, I'll be able to pay off for Jokic and still have almost 6K left for the last few spots. That's what I'm looking to do today. So thanks for watching. Best of luck, and I will catch you all next time.